Hello and welcome. Do you currently run automated testing of your apps but have no way to capture key performance metrics? In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the GameBench automation interface and how it can work together with your existing testing frameworks. The automation interface, GBA, is a command line based program that includes two components. A server, which needs to be run as a background process on your development machine, manages the communication between your test server or computer and the devices connected. A client runs on your server or computer. When you issue a command through the command line or one of your scripts, the client will communicate with the server and return the results when the server is finished executing the command. Please note that this tool is only available upon request, so before you can get set up and run the tool, you need to request a build and license from us by contacting support at gamebench.net. Our automation interface supports the following platforms. Microsoft Windows 7 or later, Mac OS X 10.8 or later, Ubuntu 12.04 or later. For Windows, you must have iTunes installed on your computer. Once downloaded for OS X and Linux, users can run the install script via terminal dot forward slash install dot sh. For Windows, you don't need to install. Just open your command prompt, navigate to the location of your downloaded files and start issuing commands or you can add gba.exe executable file to your path to be able to use GBA from any location. If you need to profile iOS, make sure you install the latest iTunes. You should now be installed and ready to start the server. Starting the server. Before using the GB client, the server needs to be started. On Linux, you can start the server by executing the following. sudo service gba service start. On Windows, all GB commands need to be run with gba.exe instead of gb. Or alternatively, in a separate terminal instance, gb dash dash start dash server. Note, the first time you connect a device, you may have to wait for a short period of time as the server will need to set up the device. This includes installing the companion app for Android and mounting the developer disk image for iOS. List devices. To list the devices connected to the server or computer, execute the following gb dash dash list dash devices. This will return a list of devices with their name and something called UDID, which is a unique device identifier. Take note of the UDID as this is used to identify the device when using other GB options documented below. Once you see a device in the list, it means you're ready for profiling. List apps. To list the apps installed on the device, execute the following. gb dash dash list dash apps then your UDID. This will return with a list of apps installed on the device with their name and a package name. Take a note of the package name as this will be needed when using the dash dash record option. Recording. To collect performance data of an application, launch the application on the device and execute the following. GB dash dash record, then your UDID, then the package, then your email. Email is a required parameter. To view this session in the web dashboard, you will need to have registered before syncing a session and log in using this email address. This will start collecting data for all the available metrics on the device until dash dash stop has been issued. You can stop recording by executing the following GB dash dash stop, then your UDID. Syncing. After all recordings have stopped, you can upload your session to the web dashboard by executing the following GB dash dash sync. If you would like to automatically sync a single session after completion, you can append the record option with the auto sync option like so. GB dash dash record UDID package email dash dash auto sync. Here you'll see an example which collect data for the app com.kilu.subwaysurfers for approximately 80 seconds and will automatically upload the session to the GameBench web dashboard when the stash dash stop command is executed. Note, due to issues with the Linux implementation of USB MUXD, when plugging in a new iOS device into a Linux host and hitting trust when prompted on the device, you may need to wait up to 60 seconds and disconnect and reconnect the device before GBA acknowledges it. The automation interface also includes extra options, such as outputting a JSON file of the session or selecting specific metrics to record. We'll be releasing another video showing these advanced features in the near future. If you'd like to take a look at them in the meantime, feel free to take a look at your README documentation or docs.gamebench.net for more info. If you have any other questions, just email us support at gamebench.net and one of our engineers will get back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.